Jazz are in Philly to play the Sixers. Uh, Utah coming off a rare loss. They just took a loss to the Pelicans the other night. Sixers, on the other hand, they just completely scraped the Pacers. Um, that was on Monday night. So we got Sixers versus Jazz. Should be a good game. Let's make a pick. Welcome to the source. Hey, get the source. The source. Source. The source. Hey, get the source. All right, so obviously the first thing I did was take the analytics for these two teams, ran it through the spreadsheet. I used NBAStuffer.com, and I used analytics from the last five games. And according to the spreadsheet, Philly should win this game by 2.29 points. All right, let's dive a little deeper and do an eye test. Like I said, I used NBAStuffer.com to do the spreadsheet. So for the eye test, I'm going to use NBA.com advanced stats. Um, and I'm going to use seven games instead of five. Give us a little larger sample. I like to use multiple sources whenever I can, just to make sure, keep things honest. So first category, we're gonna do the most important category first, and that's straight up offensive rating versus defensive rating. And Utah has a huge advantage on offense. The Jazz offense has been significantly better than the Sixers offense in the last seven games. Now Philly, they have the advantage over Utah on defensive rating, but not as significant. So as a result of these findings, we're gonna move the line three whole points, because this is a big advantage. We'll move it three whole points from Philly minus two is where we start because of home court advantage. And we end up at Utah minus one. Next category we're going to look at is rebounding percentage. This is a very important category. This is the second most important. Um, both of these teams, good rebounding teams. I'm going to give Philly the slight advantage here. Now rebounding is important. So we're going to move the line one and a half points back towards Philly. So that brings us over to the Philly side. We're at Sixers minus a half point. Next up, we're gonna do turnover percentage and free throw rate. Now these categories aren't as important as the first two, but they are important to include. Now with these two teams, it happens to be a wash. No real significant advantage I'm seeing from these numbers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep the line at Philly minus a half point. Now before we finish our cap, we gotta take a look at injuries. We did this eye test based on the last seven games, right? So we gotta look at if anybody's been out, if someone's been in and now they're out. We have Tobias Harris. He's only played four and a half of the last seven games. So these analytics are only incorporating a half of Tobias Harris, if that makes any sense. So what we need to do is we need to incorporate that in our handicap. So it looks like Tobias Harris is going to play. So if he plays, I'm sliding this line one and a half points back towards Philly, which brings us at Philadelphia minus two is our current line. Now, what I would normally do in the last step is I would take a look at rest days and specific mismatches at specific positions. Uh, but both these teams are so good. They don't have a glaring weakness on defense. It's not like Philadelphia can't stop shooting guard. Like they're both really good complete teams. So I'm not gonna touch the line for that. And both these teams are really good, well-coached teams that have had at least one day's rest. So I'm not going to move the line for rest days either. So we have our cap. We completed this eye test at Philadelphia minus two. Spreadsheet has this one at Philadelphia minus two and a half. Books are opening this one at Sixers plus two and a half. So at this point, I am 100% leaning Sixers in this game. Be sure to check out tomorrow's episode of The Source. That'll be tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern time. I will finalize this pick after I get a look at the injury reports, bed percentage, money percentage, all that. Finalize this pick as well as finalize all my picks for the night in one video tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern time.